Hello everyone, Dr. Ventricini here for Pod6 Club, and welcome to more MTG Arena gameplay, where today I'm going to be giving her another go at Quick Singleton and uh, trying out, well, Rat Colony again, because that went so well the first time, may as well try it out again. <laughs> I had fun playing it. I know it's a bad idea. I know it's a bad idea, but I don't care. It was still fun. I don't think the fairy agrees back there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing Singleton for. Maybe one round, maybe two. We'll see. After that, I'll might just jump over some uh, ranked ladder. But in the meantime, let's jump over to the game. There we are. Ooh, I got my overlay. It's showing me my decks. Excellent. All right. Boosh. And now let's do the thing where we jump into the game. Okay. Singleton. Let's do this. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen would be I don't pick up a single one. What? Let's try it. Because again, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out. We are definitely going to find out. So, without any further ado, let's do this thing. So, Singleton is out, and while I haven't seen any specifics for deck listing for it, um, it's starting to pop more up in forums. People are definitely going through and giving their builds out, but I haven't seen any specific subsets for it. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to keep this. So as you can see, it is not all rat colonies now. It's mostly rat colonies, but there's some other shenanigans. So, 
I'm gonna lull my opponent into a false sense of security by not playing rats right off the bat. However, this is looking promising. So, that the scrounger and pass the turn. Hmm. I kind of want to go back and give some more work onto my construct deck. I really think that there was something there, and did go up against many competent, competent uh, construct decks. So, interesting. Interesting. Necessarily the black man. Don't really like that Yehenny being it. Because he's going to keep on getting bigger. Uh. Our bridge. Samut. Damn it. Screw Now Rada comes out and you swing. Or is it going to be an Angra? Can't put out the planar bridge yet. Certainly cannot use the planar bridge if it comes out. However, Rada. Oh, I don't like Samut. There's Rada. Da da da. Two for three and swing in the air. Six. Off. Oh, that flagship is going to be the death of me. Bloody 
Friggin' hell. Sangriff. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Is gonna have rats and bring back the scrounger, so. The Tufi. So, how is a pony gonna solve it? Okay, I lose two life. No fire, no steel. Alright, so how does he get in the extra two damage? and swing for six. Yes. Lost as I am.
Oops, that's, so that is doable. Lance comes out. Cruise. Four four flyer. Oh. Tapped out. What are you gonna do? No. swing with everything. The opponent can get me down to three, but then they can't block on the next. Depending, of course, on what they have in hand. It's always the possibility for combat shenanigans. Of course, since there's a bit of red, just some cheese to the face. Burn! Burn! No fire, no steel. Yeah, huh? that other one that I have. Hmm. Okay. Play, play, play some more. Hopefully, round two goes a little bit better. Though, really, what am I expecting? I'm playing a rat colony deck. Let's be real here.
Interesting. Lost Legacy in this deck, I did that. I knew I was missing something. Now it's the double rats. Yes, for the rat. I'm expecting. Rather, what's the opposite of screwing? Flooding! Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting flooded. Ah, oh, perfect. Cheesy Pete's. say hmm all sack really why do you hate me exile all the rats Like, I'm getting all those things that I don't need. And I could really just use a scrap heap scrounger. And I'm gonna lose this one too, aren't I? Oh, sorry. Got distracted by my wrist. Telling me about things. Unimportant things. Creatures. Give me creatures. Nope. More land.
both going insane here. Discard a swamp. That blessing, yo. Get blessed. Oh, snap. It's a rat colony. Hey. Finally gonna start paying off here. Finally, I got that bloody recursive out.
Doesn't matter because I'm still dead. Excellent. Let's rank down back into gold tier 4 because why the hell is this even applying to freaking rank? <sighs> Thanks for encouraging creative play, Watsy. Alright. So who the hell wants wins anyways? is kind of garbage, but whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, some flipping rappers. I did it to myself, though. I did it to myself. Really?
Let's claim my garbage, because I got nothing! Oh. Why did I think Singleton was a good idea? Alright, I didn't. Um, alright. Try and fix some of the garbage that I had going earlier. Alright, last thing. Four more. I just like the Minotaur because of the reach, but I don't know. It's a good idea. <laughs> hey Tara, how's it going? Um, I'm trying to go through and whittle away four cards so I can make this an actual singleton deck. Ah, why do I always look so serious? I'm supposed to be having fun. I am having fun. <laughs> Sinless. <laughs> Rather sinless, in fact. But, nonetheless, fun. Because we weren't there for the sin, we were there for the magic. And yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I feel so bad about my antics. <laughs> Meeting Mr. Rosewater was really nice though. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I don't have any previous years to base it off of. Um I mean it was busy, it was popping, there was thousands of people playing magic, but I wouldn't know if it was as busy or busier or less busy than previous years. It seemed like there were less vendors on site, though it doesn't seem like there was nearly as bad for the attendance on the vendors as it was initially made out. I mean, I'm sure you must have heard. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because there's, supposedly the initial numbers thrown around was like 50% less. It's we still noticed that there was, I mean, it was maybe 25% less by the final count. 
I mean, I don't have any hard numbers on that. That's just uh, us eyeballing and seeing what was actually present. But, um, I mean, it was still busy. However, I'm, I'm not sure because I don't... I haven't really been to any GP previously, so I don't have anything. We did get free stuff. There was some free stuff on offer. Um, we got a ticket to get some 25th anniversary cake. Of course, being the people that we are, we assumed that the cake was a lie, so we just held on to the tickets instead. And then when we actually saw the photos of the... T of the uh, the cakes and the muffins that they were giving out, um, cupcakes, cupcakes and cakes, they were snazzy. We really should have gone for one, but, uh, oh well, <laughs> little things. We did attend a couple of uh, really interesting panels as well. The content creator one was really cool, and then as well the one, uh, basically with, um, what the hell was that one called? It happened on the Sunday. I don't know, that was on the Saturday. And basically they had Mark Rosewater, uh, Aaron Forsyth, and a bunch of other people involved on the design. Um, just shooting, just fielding questions and stuff like that. Um, or at least that's the part that we showed up for. <laughs> I don't remember anyone calling out the Pokemon style artwork. There was questions about you know, what they were, what worlds they were planning on visiting, the joke going back and forth that it was basically just going to be going back and forth between uh, Dominaria and Ravnica for the next few years, sets, etc. where they're like, yeah, we can just keep on doing that, right? No one's going to mind. Um, <laughs> they fully acknowledge uh, how silly it seems to just continue going back to certain things. Uh, there was talks of throwing in other mythologies and place settings. Someone in the crowd brought up Norse mythology for maybe a different plane. So, yeah, Core, Core 2019 M19 is looking really, really solid. Um, I mean, the leaks are fully out there, so it looks awesome. I'm, I'm really excited to get my hands on that and give it a try. Hopefully, we get that in Arena a little bit earlier, but we'll see. And yes, a North, a Norse set would be awesome. Throwing in Thunder Gods and all that stuff. Hey, maybe we'll get a Lightning Bolt reprint. <laughs> nah, the Wizard's Lightning is close to we're going to get. But still, that would be cool. Rainbow Bridges to Valhalla and all that. So, yeah. No, it was exciting. It was, it was definitely a good time. I'm just so used to attending things like Comic Cons and PAX that this was definitely different by comparison. But it was still it was still a blast. I'm just not a hundred percent sold on Vegas itself, but that's just me. I don't think I'm the target audience. I don't go there to uh, gamble. If I'm gonna gamble, I'd rather gamble on cardboard. So. Eh. You know how it is. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I need to get some cards. All right, mentor, you're gone. Um, something drops. Hi, Jack, you're gone. Frosadon, I like you. Ragnarok, yes, definitely. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's with all the. GP shenanigans, there wasn't much time for us to really check out other things. We made a brief appearance on the strip, didn't really end up checking out nearly even three quarters of the things that we wanted to. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's still there, isn't she? Just, yes, Celine's there, Brittany's there. I mean, Barry Manilow is supposed to be also having an engagement there, but I think he was out due to uh, health complications. He was recovering. Um, so, yeah, there was definitely a bunch of stuff. We were keen to go check out Penn and Teller as well, but we just couldn't get it together in order to be able to do a bunch of these things. So, 
Next time. Next time. I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying that I would have gone to that show. I'm just, you know, Brits and all. But yeah, Penn and Teller would have been a blast. I'm just throwing it out there. The things that were available that we know were possibilities that you could go to. And then, of course, there was all, also the uh, show that Ganzo was very keen on checking out, The Thunder Down Under. <laughs> I don't know if he wanted to go check out the show or if he actually wanted to go try and audition for the show. One or the other. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear this later. <laughs> uh, I want to keep the cars out, but it seems like, meh, ditch it. And ditch that too. Alright, screw it. Let's try this. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Let's try some more Singleton. That's, uh... I don't know why I tried to do Rat Colony again. It went even worse than the first time. Yeah, Blue Man Group would be fun. Blue Man Group would be fun. We didn't even bother looking into that. There's just so much going on. I really wanted to go to White Castle. I never got to go to White Castle. And then when we actually tried to order White Castle, it wouldn't deliver. They wouldn't deliver. Uber Eats wouldn't deliver. Grubhub wouldn't deliver. It was like two or three other services that we checked out. I think it was just because of the fact that we were in the hotel. They were like, nope. And we didn't get any free beta codes. I... <laughs> hmm. I will have to look into that. Crystal Burger, eh? Well, apparently they have some frozen ones that you can do yourself at home. So that's something that we're going to have to check out. Possibly in September when we're down in Seattle. For PAX. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I, we found out way too late that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, they were giving out beta codes at the arena section that they had. It was basically a cordoned off area with, what was it, eight or ten different stations that you could actually play arena at. We wanted to go do it just as a joke because it's like, well, we're already in the, in the beta, but let's just play it over here at the GP. And then with all the other things that we were doing, we never actually made the time to do so. We found out after the fact from checking, from scouring Chris Clay's Twitter, who is the principal game designer on Arena, that they were giving out codes to anyone who played. And then on like the last day, anyone who just popped by and asked for a code. We didn't find that out until after the fact when we were go coming, when we were already here and doing research on something that we wanted to come out with in a video that's going to be coming out in like 20 minutes so <laughs> uh, we were so disorganized like we had all the best intention and all these grandiose plans <laughs> you know how that goes we we're trying to cram way too much in Really? We're over, in B we're over in British Columbia. We're on the West Coast, so... I'm gonna have to check that out at my local Walmart. Which... I mean... I've got a couple pretty close, but there will be one opening closer to me. In the near future, so... Good looking out. Thank you for the heads up. I had no idea. Alright. Next stop, Walmart. Probably should have hauled on that. Come on, give me a two trunk. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. 
now that I've been denied the White Castle of goodness. Apparently, your Google Foo is fantastic. Damn. So it looks like this red aggro deck is going to make short work of me. Unless... Whirly dearly. Down to nine. All right, can we turn this around? Yeah, let's put up the Phoenix. Come on, Phoenix, you got my back. And Ganzo managed to pick himself up a fantastic looking rekindling Phoenix map. That GP with the uh, ticks that he got from his fanatical, his limited fanatic uh, side events. So, pretty cool. I'm blocking. Oh, right. Because it's got the menace, so it still gets in for one. And then does he shock it to get rid of it? Interesting, interesting. I'm teetering on the brink of death. Opponent's deck is firing considerably better than mine. But then I screwed myself on the draw and I should have mulled. Okay. And he's gonna braid so he can still get through with the Zev. Duck on it! Killing me here, man. But I mean that it. I mean, that is the point of the game, so. for one once again. Off. Like, where the hell is my removal? Come on, stop cheesing my creatures away. Let me deal with that damn sky ship. It's a captivating crew, crap. That's not gonna be good for me. Cause he is definitely gonna kill me then. Kill me now, I'm right here. You 
And I'm dead on the next turn. Definitely gonna push me down to rank four. That's what I get for trying new things. See what happens here. Drop down three. Mine. Fresh car. Eh, crap. Five. Oh, just for four. Off. Seems like a waste of a Chandra, but uh, I don't know how the hell some sort. Oh, that's not good. Smoking is never a good solution.
that is some people's coping mechanism, so bloody hell. I'm sorry to hear that. Why can't people just keep their BS to themselves? That's definitely not good. No, I, I agree. What's up, Ganzo? My man. I'm over here just getting my ass worked in Singleton. <laughs> Seems like a good idea at the time. How's it going, my man, Wheezy? I'm just over here, you know, doing the MTG Arena thing. How are things for you at uh, that place that we do not speak of? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been in that position, unfortunately. Work is the thing that we do not speak of. <laughs> Dude, congratulations. Hawaii, right? You're not going to go jump into the volcano, are you? I hope not. <laughs> is still active. I hope you are as far away from it as you possibly can be, Wheezy. Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Sounds awesome. Good, good, good. I'm gonna lightning that thing. That's my turn. Here we go. You got your Candace back? Nice. <laughs> She's a good egg, so that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, man. Good luck with the war and hope you have complete victory. And have fun in, Va in uh, Hawaii. I'm just gonna be over here getting my butt worked in uh, Singleton. After this, I'm really gonna go into some rank ladder. This is uh, not treating me well at all. to thunk it. I can't brew for Singleton.
Yes, I will. <laughs> we can get White Castle frozen burgers here in Walmart. Woo! That's like best news I've heard. That's a thing. That is, that is what Tara has informed me of, so now I'm going to go through and start scouring as many Walmarts as I bloody well can, trying to find me some White Castle burgers. You be Harold, I'll be Kumar. Just hoping we don't run into NPH. <laughs> Not that I don't like NPH, it's just I remember th sh the shenanigans from the movie. Regular damage. Trailblazer! Away! What is opponent trying to ramp into? Four color deck. Okay. Swing with everything, and then play the Ferocidon. Because everyone hates the Ferocidon. What? Burgers are love, burgers are life. <laughs> Besides, drama is stupid. And it's, it's almost always self-created, unfortunately. <laughs> what was the one that we've been hankering to get our butts out to? I mean, there was that, there was the in and out. We'll need to try some in and out. And then I don't think I've had my yearly fix of Jack in the Box either, so... It's the little things. Donnie! <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Freaking hate the Eagles, man. Bienvenidos al El Hotel California. Jesus, man. That's right, man. No one with the Jesus. <laughs> nice. on DVD at one point and then I let it out and I don't remember to whom so you know how those things go oh it's a school now hmm. yeah it's gonna happen unfortunately relics of the past ooh schnappatatiova Okay. Yay, I finally got a win in Singleton today. Definitely closer to the die side than the do side. 
You hear that, Stormy? Do. I mean, die. That's right, man. Nobody messes with the Jesus. Something crazy, like pull a gun out on the lane. Snatch that gun from you, turn it around. What was it? Stick it up your butt and pull the trigger till it goes click. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> that was Tortura, was it not? Played that role wonderfully. I haven't actually caught any of that yet. Uh, I was browsing through a bit, but I kept on getting distracted by other things. I kept on going back to the uh, GP Pittsburgh VODs and stuff like that. <laughs> I was really curious to see how Standard was doing. Yeah. What's been going on with the Summer Games done quick? Have there been any any crazy speedruns? Things worth checking out? I mean, there's always good things worth checking out in that. I really just need to spend the time with that. Oh, nice. Ooh, I'm gonna have to let Llama know about that. He's all about the Resident Evil. And there was... I think there was a speedrun done for that one last year with the remaster. That was pretty interesting. As well as with seven, I think there was one, one of those brutal ones done where it's like just cranked up to the most difficult that they can possibly get it. I'm gonna have to check that out. Definitely gonna have to check that out. I think I still have a copy of the uh, Biohazard that came out for Dreamcast kicking around in my shelves somewhere. Interesting attempts that I remember hearing about. Well, I think this is just something that someone did for fun. It was basically trying to play the game through, but not actually killing any of the NPC enemies. So by the end of a level, you would just have a horde of enemies chasing after you as you were trying to go through and run to your endpoint. <laughs> that always sounded like a really interesting prospect and I always wanted to see what that would look like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dawn is out. Opponent. Wondering which three drop to play? Or what combination of one drops? 
All one drop goblins. I mean, really, he would lightning strike the Ferocitron and then start casting. Well, basically, magical firebrand. me for one. At least they're indicating stuff considerably better now. Oh, I still need more cheese in this defense. Doggone it. Even fire. Hmm. 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 I say. with everything. No blackers. No blackers. Okay, thank you for popping in, Tara. And, uh, always a pleasure. And hope to catch you in the next one. FUD is important. Go have all the cheeseburgers. And thank you for letting me know about burgers. I'm definitely going to be going for some now. <laughs> um... Okay. Skizik, I will take that. I know I'm on track. Alright, deal two, add two, or ping for four. Time to die. That is what I thought. Bye bye, Chandra. Now you've done it. Yeah, I got rid of you. Get out of here, you stinking Chandra. Squeeze, yeah, crap. I knew 
knew I needed to get one of those damn things into my deck. Nice. My turn, my turn, my turn. Talking about, seriously? I love it when I top deck garbage. Cut out for Singleton. All right, back to the ladder we go. Hopefully, so I don't keep on losing my rank. Your rank applies to everything, regardless as to whether you're playing just stupid, janky things or not. Why the meta is so flat? You're not encouraging people to actually try things by being able to break away from that. Sure, it would be nice if you could play and try out different play styles and something that didn't affect your rank. I wasn't going to bother trying to squeeze in one more singleton because, yeah, nah. Rats performed like crap as expected, and then my janky mono red didn't really do any better. It's not like I have any wild cards that I can trade in for that kind of stuff. It's not because I'm not buying as many packs as I used to, because I'm just using all of my gold to throw in for singleton and drops and constructed which means that you can't go through get the packs for the hopeful wild cards 
or even work towards that vault, so... Again, really encouraging players to try new things. Wherein you need to hemorrhage money in order to make it work. Bye-bye, Nalar. Are you going to braid it or lightning strike it? There it is. Ah, jerk face. One of my favorite beers. Not quite over 9,000, but close to. By actually being 9,000. It's the heart of Karen. Crap. the useful things. Okay. Kieran's out. Chandra's out. <laughs> I knew you needed my help. Yep, you're going down. What to do? Hey, go away. Oh, look, I told you what to do, and you followed. <laughs> Chandra, just go back to listening to Jaya. She knows what's best for you. Fool! Fool of a tuck. She's not a Tuck, is he? Is she? She's an Alar! Bloody... Ah, 
Good old Doom Call. Yes, get on with it. Oh, for cheesy Pete's sake. Give me something useful. Attack, you asshat. Kenra still comes back on the next turn. <laughs> so now if I can just keep doing that. I could only keep doing that. Ah, we can squeeze in some more matches. An untamed Kabu. Ah, excellent. I think I needed some of those for the EPM's Celestia Flying Fighters deck. Excellent, excellent. Maybe I'll be able to make my own instead of a uh, Continuing to ride on the ones that Ganzo has managed to make up. Excellent. I think I'm just going to stick with red deck wins. If I end up going over to blue-white deck, that match is going to take like 45 minutes. Because that's one that I ended up seeing over the weekend um, from the GP coverage that they had going on on the uh, magic on the proper magic uh, channel there was a mirror control match that basically went the full time 55 minutes one game and it ended in a draw like I like control but that's crazy Crap, I can't play Chain Whirler. Lana War. Not ram, sir. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. Full time on one thing. That's just nuts.
Alright, get the mage up. That's the only thing I can do at the moment. And I don't think... Yeah, and they definitely weren't uh, second sons decks or anything like that either. One of them was an Esper Control, and the other one was a Blue-White Teferi deck. And... Those things stall out. Like, one of them... Like, <laughs> it's basically on the left-hand side of the screen. It was just littered of creatures that had... What was it? Cast-outs and seal-aways and Ixalan's bindings on top of them. It's just like... That's where something like, what was the new one, Nova Cleanse or something like that? That would be fantastic for that. Wipe away all the enchantments and artifacts. Whoo-wee! Go mountain, just in case. These are like stupid stuff. Come on, just ping me for one. I'm not actually sure. That is a good question. I'm not actually sure. What? I'm confuzzled. You know what? I'm gonna look that up right now. Gold. Gold. Oh, snap. Getting notifications. Things are happening. <laughs> More ladder. More constructed. I have a list of the top eight decks. Blue black mid range, white blue control, blue black control, black red aggro, Esper control, red a black red aggro, mono red aggro, and white blue god pharaoh's gift. Hmm. But it doesn't tell me who the hell I actually won. One. Thomas? Okay. And Bram's deck was... Mono Red Aggro! Hmm. 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 Still managed to come through in a bind. Put those Bomat Couriers back in. I, uh, they's good, but damn it, I don't know. I'm torn. Though to be fair, I think I actually did see him playing that deck, and uh, 
when someone knows how to play a deck, it works regardless. Regardless of what it's going up against, so. Yes. It wasn't just one Esper control deck and then seven variants of a mono red aggro. There was one mono red aggro, the two variants, which are the black reds, and then a whole whack load of control, so. They definitely managed to find the, uh, the stride for getting control working against it, so that was nice. I like to see more variety in it. However, the fact that it is basically still confined to just two metas, you're either playing red aggro or you're playing control, whether it be uh, red, Mono red, whether it be a black red aggro, or whether it be a you know a Esper control or a blue black control or a white blue control, it's still still the same dang thing. I don't know. Pink. No life linking for you. thinking about it. This cycles the worldly. Are they hitting the land? No, there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, they're gonna hate me for this one. Chain Whirler is so punishing like that. Yeah, at least the top eight definitely was more, more diverse. I still would have liked to have seen more janky outliers in it, though. It would have been nice to see um, Mono Green Stompy get in there. Or some... What the heck were they trying to do? Blue-Green Karn? I don't know. I need to go through and see what what other decks were there that were actually popular. Top material. Maybe top thirty-two. Very nice name upon. Very nice name. I like that. Alright. Hopefully there's a line drawn in my future. Swing! 
Para, para, para. 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 Come on, land. Give me a mouth. Chess bot. It resolves. Opponent searches. Or rather, he scries, and I don't know if it stays on top or. Oh no. He looks and it would have gone into graveyard, so he liked you. Now, what is it gonna be? It's a Drake! Hey. Okay, maybe I'll be able to squeeze in one match after this one. It's another Drake. Oh, got it. Does the same thing again. Uh-huh. Hey. That's fair. Sure would be nice if I got some freaking land. Sure, not really what I wanted, but whatever. Come on, one more land. I don't even care what kind it is. Uh -huh. Opponent cancels. Opponent does not cancel. Opponent is now going to Magnus spray it or shock it. Oh, straight up lightning strike. Chasey Pates.
Did he go for the bottom or the top? I have no friggin' idea. Start digging in deeper to see if uh, answer is what they need. Whatever. Naturally. Chain whirly gig. That is allowed. I will allow it. I will allow you for you to play your disallowed. Because then hopefully I can play my Rekindling Phoenix without any, uh, any guff. Especially since he got rid of a Supreme Will. Searching. Searching. Yes. All right. Um. Screw it. One more. Last match. Last match. Ended up getting the pack. Snap! Let's see what I got. Okay, come on. Build up that vault. Let me get something decent, please. It's another squee. Yeah, whatever. I like that I got a juggernaut, at least. Hey, how's it going, EPM? EPM? I was just thinking about you because I ended up getting an... Um Untamed Kavu as one of my incremental cog rewards. So I'm like, hey, you know what that would grow, go great in? The Celestian Flying Fighters deck that you suggested. So hopefully I can actually build my own version of it to give that one a test as well, rather than playing the one that Ganzo built. So I really liked what was going on with that deck. So I'm going to go through and squeeze in my last match. You have a change? Cool. Post the deck link. Oh, yeah. Post the deck list, man. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. One of my favorite parts of the game is brewing. I love to see what people are doing. Hey. Little tweaks are what make decks work considerably better, so. I'm always interested. So this is going to be my last match. However, Ganzo should be taking over for me shortly. So, there is more to come. Excellent. Alright, go with the mountain. Enter.
Hey, there's something. Bink. Kenra comes out, and then we come in swinging. Unless they shock. Which they're gonna. Oh, magma spray. Even better. Game of like nothing but answers. It's looking that way. Now is going to be a shock. Yep. Man, this is some exciting stuff. is dumb. Essence scatter. Trying to find more burn, eh? E goes through. Not quite what I was hoping for, but whatever. One more Moonton would be fantastic. And opponent is going to on my end turn. End phase cleanup, you know, sh shebang, shebobble, sheboing going. Two seven cards. On it is opt in. Opti, opti, opti. Opteroni. Opteroni. everything. There we go. There's something. It's an abrade. Chain whirly gig. Clean up the board. Uh huh. Uh huh. Four mana. It's a Chandra. 
So minus Let's to deal this. four damage to the chain whirly. Oh, this no. is gonna hurt. One for card advantage. Okay. Yes. Slowly clawing my way back up tier three, hopefully to tier two and back to tier one so I can get back to freaking diamond. So I don't think that's going to end up happening with these decks. So I'm going to need to go through and put in some work on that. And if you were here for the earlier part where I was struggling in Singleton, struggling in Singleton Town. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to make that a series, actually. Singleton struggles. The struggle is real. Um, <laughs> I really need to learn how to brew for Singleton. I am having an interesting time with it. Let's say that. Let's 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 leave it at that. An interesting time. In so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put more work in on those decks. Try and come up with something that fares better. I still like the mode. It's just it's. It's not rewarding right now because any of the brews that I come up with aren't performing well. And on top of that, it hits your rank like a bastard. Like that really should be in its own separate thing for, to be honest, each one of those little events because they all play differently. They should have no bearing over what you're doing in rank ladder, to quick singleton, to quick constructed, to competitive constructed, to draft, in either the quick or the competitive variety. They're all completely different things and they play differently. So I don't see why the rank carries over from one to the next. But that's been my end of stream rant. Um, thank you everyone for joining along. Tara for popping in and giving a chat. Likewise with Wheezy and uh, EPM. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out that deck. Um, however, in the meantime, I have to go because I'm going to be late for dinner. So, um, shortly, Ganzo is going to be popping in and taking over with some ranked ladder. So, there you go. It's, uh, we're going to go through and keep grinding away at this. So, I'm out for now, but stay tuned for Ganzo as he, car as he picks up the baton and carries on. And, yeah. Until next time, guys. Thank you for joining me. I've been Dr. Venture Senior for Pod 6 Club. Cheers.